Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Craig and I played Fusilier Jacko Barton in season seven of Soldier Soldier. Uh, I got cast in uh, Soldier Soldier around Oct September, October 1996. Uh, I was doing a play at the Hammersmith Riverside Studios, an Australian play called Scenes from Paradise. And uh, I'd just got a, another TV series, so I was a bit fortunate at the time. I'd just got cast in Where the Heart Is, and that was going to film October to the end of February. And uh, the casting director from Soldier Soldier came to see the play, and I got called in uh, a couple of days after she'd seen the show to go and audition for a new squad in, in uh, the new season of Soldier. And I think they were casting a couple of new lads and their girlfriends. So I went in, and it was due to start filming beginning of February. And I knew that I was already filming all through February on this other show, and I didn't think it would work out. But anyway, I got the part, and uh, it, it did work out. And, and that February 1997, I filmed on both shows every day throughout the month of February. So it was it was quite hectic. <laughs> and uh, I remember I got cast first, and uh, I had to go and read opposite actors who were coming in to read up uh, to play my pal, uh, who was the character of Rossi, who eventually Chris Gascoigne played. And Chris has now been on Coronation Street for years. He's a good mate of mine now. But the funny thing was, a big Scottish actor came in to the casting, and I thought he was really good. And I thought, oh, he'll get the part. And he didn't, and Chris got the part. And it turned out it was Gerard Butler, the uh, Hollywood movie star. So I always give Chris that I could have been Gerard Butler's pal instead of his pal. <laughs> Jacko Barton was a bit of a loose cannon. And the, the part that the casting director saw me in on the stage, I was playing an Australian lager lout. So maybe maybe she thought I was quite good at that. So, yeah, Jackson was a bit hot-headed. And he had this long-term girlfriend in it called Julie. And they were always on and off. They were a very love-hate relationship. Uh, and when, when I got the part, I was, I was 34. And I thought, I don't know much about the British Army, but... I feel 34 is a bit old to still be a private in, in the army. So, so I remember that. And also, uh, he didn't have a third... I remember me and Michelle Butterley, who played Julie, we did a big scene where we had this big argument. And I said, and she said, I want to use your real name. What is it? And all I was called was Jacko. I said, I don't, I don't know. I don't think he's got... I don't know what his real name is. It, obviously, we thought it was Jack. And I said, call me Jackson. And I'll say, I don't like Jackson. So we did this scene and she called me Jackson. I said, don't call me that. So that was how I got my name Jackson Barton in it. I thought it was quite funny. The very first episode that we filmed, I don't think it was episode one of the season. It might have been, it was filmed out of sync. But I remember we were doing a, a, an assault course at Sand uh, Sandringham. So we filmed all around Reading and Buckingham and places like that. But, and we went on Salisbury Plain. But the first uh, my first time on set, we were, do we were doing a, an assault course. And it, it took quite a long time because it was quite like, there was a lot to it. Yeah, yeah. but it, it was great fun, really good fun. And I was fit enough to do it. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, we filmed on location mainly around Reading. Uh, Walkingham, Reading, like I said, Salisbury Plain and, and Sandringham. Not Sandringham, Sandhurst. Sandhurst. I said Sandringham, didn't I? I meant Sandhurst <laughs> at the Military Academy. But we also filmed, I live in Wandsworth, South London, so I very rarely film in London. But we did film at Wimbledon Dogs when the dog track was still there. So that was great. It was only down the road from where I live. And we, it was a night shoot. We filmed like, we started like at nine o'clock at night and filmed till three in the morning. So that was great, just living around the corner from that. Yeah. At the audition, uh, I read for Jacko and I also read for the sergeant that Connor Mullen played. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember the character's name, the sergeant's name, but I read for that part as well. Uh, also, my good pal Jonathan Guy Lewis was already in it playing the sergeant, so there's another sergeant in it. And I became really good pals with Danny Cunningham, who played Butcher. But yeah, I only I only auditioned for Barton and and the sergeant.
Yeah, so Jonathan Guy Lewis, he, he was a pal of mine from about four years before. I, I did a I did a play about soldiers in Manchester at the at the Library Theatre in 1991 called the Loxy Blues, a Neil Simon play, and Jonathan had seen it. And two years later, in '93, he was doing his first play, which was called Our Boys, which was about his experiences in the military, and it was all set in a military hospital in Greenwich. So I'd done John's first play, so I, I'd known him about four years at this point, and then we got to work together on on. Uh, on Soldier Soldier, and he was, he's always my boss, he's always my director, or he was my sergeant. He's always telling me what they do, Jonathan Guy Lewis. <laughs> so when, when uh, I remember when Soldier Soldier started, it was 1991, I think, and I never watched an episode, I never, I'd never seen it, and I knew I was up for season seven, and I, I weren't even aware that Robson and Jerome had left at season five, and that they'd done a season without them two. But I, I remember doing a play at the Sheffield Crucible Theatre and I was backstage uh, in, where the stage door was and the guy was watching TV and it was the very first episode of Soldier Soldier ever to air. And I was watching it with him and that's the only time I'd ever seen it on the TV. It was a show that I never watched. And I think, I, be, I believe it was uh, supposed to be based about the, uh, the women, about the wives and girlfriends. But Robson and Jerome became so popular with the song and everything that they kind of their characters kind of hijacked the series and it became more about them. So, but no, I never met him and uh, no, never, never worked with him. Uh, in the show, the regiment was called the King's Own Fusiliers and I think it was, it was a fic fictish, fictional uh, regiment. But whenever we used to meet real, real soldiers, like when we went to Sandhurst or, or to Salisbury Plain, we we we, uh, we actually did some square bashing with the Porches Regiment, the East Anglian Regiment, and they were all desperate to get the uh, the hackle, the the badge off our off our berets because they were all the soldiers watched the show. They were all, they all loved it, yeah. So yeah, the King's Own Fusiliers. My favorite episode. Let me see. Well, there was twelve episodes. And we we were kind of let, we were told that we weren't all going to be in every episode, so everybody was looking for when they could go on holiday or have time off. And I, I remember one of the producers saying, "When when's the episode that I'm off so I can book a holiday?" And she said, "Tom, you're not you're in every episode." I was the only character that was in every episode of season seven, uh, which was great financially at the time, but. Uh, I'd got this story arc with the girlfriend, Julie, played by Michelle Butterley, and it all came to a head in episode 11. So episode 11, I thought I did some really good work. There was quite a bit of humour in it, quite a bit of anger, quite a bit of emotion. And it was it was my arc uh, for the like end of this relationship with the, the girlfriend in it. But I always, I always start to myself, who's watching Soldier Soldier season seven, episode 11? Nobody in the industry is watching it, do you know what I mean? But I did a good job. Uh, the end of the show, we filmed out of sync. So we the last episode we filmed was episode 10. And uh, we'd gone to Africa. We were in Zimbabwe. We were, it was like a fictional country called Zakinde. And we were aware that it, uh, soldier, soldier might carry on to season eight, or the producers might develop a new show. And because we were in Africa, I think they got an idea for a different show, and and that's what they went with. So, yeah, it was it was disappointing. It had, it had ended because it was it, it was brilliant. I had great fun. It was really good fun. I met two of my best acting pals, Danny Cunningham and Chris Gascoigne, and my other pal Jonathan was already in it. Uh, I got on with Ben Nealon, Ian Curtis. Everybody was great, great, great lads, great cast. But I also had this other show at the same time. So when when I finished filming Soldier Soldier, I was aware that where the heart is, we're going to start filming for season two. So I wasn't that. I didn't feel like probably some of the other actors who didn't have a job to go on to because I had another job on a, on another show. So and where the heart is went and ran for six years. So so that was. I wish I wish that I'd done them in tandem for six years each, where the heart I sold you, sold you, you know, back and forth, but it wasn't to be. And I guess season seven seasons of any English show is pretty good anyway. So I think everybody had a good pop at it.
memories that I can share. <laughs> well, the memories that I can share from Soldier Soldier. Uh, Danny Cunningham and me, we used Danny lived in Tooting and I lived in Wandsworth. So me and Danny used to get the we used to get driven to set every day from from Wandsworth down into Reading. So I got to know Danny really well because we were in the car every morning quite early and having a laugh together. Uh, and when, when we filmed in Reading, I'd never really been to Reading before. But Reading had a late night pub and it was very rare at the time for pubs to open after hours. And there's, it, the pub's still there. It's called the Purple Turtle. And that used to be open until two, three in the morning. So that was where we all used to go and have a drink. Uh, this is when English actors used to go out and have a bit of a night out. You know what I mean? But that was great. Yeah, the Purple Turtle. I remember that in Reading. It's not the kind of memories you want, I'm sure, Andrew, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Africa. Oh, when we went to Africa, we went for three weeks. And my character was in that episode less than anybody else. So I only had eight, I think I only had eight days filming while we were in Zimbabwe. But I had to be there for the whole three weeks. So for four days, I took myself off on my own and I went to Victoria Falls. And I did the white water rafting down the Zambezi River which was pretty spectacular. So that's a fantastic memory that I have. Yeah, brilliant. But yeah, that's about it, really. Oh, uh, I do remember I was filming in the morning on Soldier Soldier in Reading and in the afternoon on where the heart is in Yorkshire. And they got me a private plane, a small plane with two pilots and, a, and an air hostess. And they flew me up from Berkshire to Yorkshire. So I, I felt pretty special that day. <laughs> Costume and makeup. I think I had a scar. I asked them. I think I think I had a little scar on my eye, and I, I, I thought that that'll be good having a scar because he's a bit of a lad. He's always in fights and stuff. But then you've got to sit there every day and have this scar put in your head. And after a couple of weeks, I thought oh, I shouldn't have had a scar. <laughs> but no, it was uh, you know the costume was great. So being a soldier, I've never been a soldier. You know what I mean? But it was it was fantastic. And I, re I remember in the barracks because I'm from Sheffield and I, I made myself a Sheffield Wednesday fan. My character, Jacko, was a Sheffield Wednesday fan. And I remember the first day we got on set, which was at barracks and uh, the art department, I'd, I'd made a request for any Sheffield Wednesday memorabilia to be around my locker. And they got the wrong team. They put up all Sheffield United stuff. And I went, I didn't go mad, but I was like, oh, lads, this is the wrong team. I can't be a Sheffield United fan. So they changed it. They got me all Sheffield Wednesday stuff up. So if you see stuff, there's a picture of Des Walker in my in my locker. So whenever I'm stood next to the lockers, Des Walker's there. <clears throat> yeah, so so Chris Gascoigne came and read opposite me to play my pal because I'd already been cast. And we became really good pals, Chris, and we still are today. And I remember he, he was called Tony Rossi, his character. And I wanted to call him Paolo after the famous. I, I, we did a few scenes and I called him Paolo and the director went, well, why are you calling him Paolo? I said, it's a nickname. I said, there was a famous Italian footballer called Paolo Rossi. And he went, but nobody will know that. I said, but does it matter? I know it. Do you know what I mean? But so they won't, they won't let me call him Paolo, even though I wanted to. But yeah, then uh, me and Chris have been good pals ever since, really. I don't, did we work together again? Oh, yeah. Chris did an episode of Where the Heart Is. He came on and did an episode of that. But uh, And I was in Coronation Street for a couple of years, so... I passed cross when I was doing that. But I don't see him very often now because he's in Manchester and, and I live in London. But Danny Cunningham, was, he's, he's still our good pal as well. Danny, Danny was really funny as butcher, isn't it? <laughs> what do I do now? Uh, yeah, I've been acting all my career, really. I left drama school in 88 and so I got Soldier Soldier in 97. So that was nine years into my career. Uh, and for the last 16 years, I left Coronation Street in 2005. I did that for two and a half years. Uh, I've been doing a Canadian TV show in Toronto for the last 16 years. It's called Murdoch Mysteries. <clears throat> and I play the Chief of Police of Toronto. So at the moment, I'm about to fly back to Toronto in two weeks' time. So I'm actually growing a moustache and sideburns at the minute and hoping my hair's going to get longer. Because it's a period piece. It's set in uh, the early 1900s. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I spend most of my year in Toronto filming that. Last year we did 24 episodes and we're doing 24 episodes this year, but I'm only in 16 because I've got quite a 
a few family commitments back in England during the summer, so I can't I can't be in the whole show. But it's fine, it's great. And I play beach volleyball. <laughs> so I go to Toronto, I act and I play beach volleyball. What a life. <laughs> You're welcome, Andrew. I saw some. I saw Jonathan's interview that he did for you for London's Burning, so it was quite good. Yeah.